Use this five-play money scheme to drive your opponent nuts and get easy yards and, and first downs. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, the notification icon so you never miss an upload. All right, so guys, we're going to jump back into the single back ace, one of the better formations in the game. Always has been. Uh, it's balanced. Uh, you could flip it without giving a title to your opponent, attack your opponent either side of the field. And if you have a good running uh, scheme out of this and a good passing scheme, it can be, you can run it pretty much all game. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take a look look at uh, basically a base play which is going to be the halfback toss crack problem with the toss crack is that there's an auto motion so there is basically um, a, a tell uh, when you actually go ahead and uh, use this particular cr crack play against your opponent but what's cool about it is that you also have a couple other auto motion plays uh, pass plays that you can you can leverage in this in this scheme uh, to really go ahead and throw your opponent off a little bit so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and include Z spot is our uh, is our uh, a short yardage type play. Flanker drive is going to go ahead and replace our uh, play action play. And we're going to go ahead and switch that out right there. And the running play, I'm going to either leave as the cards zone, or I'm going to go ahead and use the halfback misdirection. Sometimes a misdirection will get um, really good yardage with it. And skinny post is going to be another play we're just going to leave as is. Uh, what I like about skinny post is that you can attack your opponent off to the right or to the left. Uh, it's got that deep post route, which our money can give you good 20-yard gainers on it, and it's a good play to go and jump into to keep your opponent out of. So we're just going to go ahead and close that out. So uh, base play we're going to call is going to be the halfback toss crack, and we're just going to run this against uh, man coverages and kind of go from it. Now, um, what's cool about the toss crack is you can flip it either way. Man blitzes basically means uh, you're going to have an opportunity to go and attack your, attack your opponent. So i uh, just going to go and flip that ball either side of the field uh, to go ahead and, and uh, try to get those yardage so uh, we're going to flip it off to the left because we've got an extra defender off to the right and hopefully we get the seal blocking which we do and we're just going to go house with this or basically get a nice you know 15 yard run with that now another play you can jump into is going to be the misdirection. Uh, the key to setting your opponent up is actually going to show the, uh, the, the, the fake run right there. So uh, you want to show that, that toss type animation against your opponent. So uh, what you can do is you can just go ahead and just take that thing and just move them a little bit off to the right and hopefully you get a nice little seam right there. Now I'm going against aggressive man blitzes. Safeties are coming down in the holes. In that type of situation we'll probably jump into another play. But uh, this is uh, you know this is just another uh, opportunity opportunity where you can go and pick up some pretty easy yards. So right here, I'm able to go and beat that single safety to go and pick up a good yard, yard a good chunk of yards. Now against cover, um, uh, against uh, like a safety, like a, a, a man coverage type blitz type of situation, uh, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and streak up my tight end and streak up uh, my outside receiver and just look to the flats. I've also got the deep corner route that I can attack against uh, man coverage, but you got to get rid of the ball fairly quick uh, with this your play. And what I love about this is that you can go ahead and um, basically flip it to the other side of the field, so that gives you an opportunity to go and get a nice little completion against your opponent. But if guys are doing a lot of heavy man blitz, then I probably wouldn't jump into that play too much. Skinny or, uh, skinny posts. I uh, another thing that I like to do uh, for man reads is actually do. Uh, I like to take the flat routes and actually put them into drag routes because that gives me a man beater with the tight end routes. So uh, if, it, if there's man coverages, they're not, those, those, those defenders are not going to switch off, but they're definitely going to be out of position. So that's the way I like to run skinny posts against anybody that does a lot of heavy grand man blitzes. So let's see here. Uh, right here, I'm able to go and pick up a good 10 yards with that. And the final play is going to be the drive play right here. We can leave it stock. And what's going to happen if you get the time? You've got this deep comeback. I so said I didn't have the time right there. I was forcing that ball into into it uh, with uh, with a flanker drive. You do want to look to the crossing routes um, on, on the back and side. So you've got the underneath crosser. He's going to have some pretty good position against you. So you can hit that. You can also see the the other route, which uh, is going to be uh, the uh, the in route by the tight end you should be able to hit that too. So right now I'm getting a, a lot of block shits, but you can see right here, I'm picking up a good you know, 10 yards uh, underneath if he uses a lot of man, heavy man blitzes. All right, so against cover two, once again, we're just gonna go to the strength of the field. 
Hopefully we get a nice seal block right there. So uh, I, I got lucky on the animation. That should have been sealed up. Um, the, the defender actually had the edge against me. Let's so see if we can get it again. So I got a good crock, uh, uh, a crack uh, back right there. But you probably do. If you got a guy who runs a lot of cover two, um, I would probably say that it might not be the best play uh, to use this. Um, against cover two shells, um, primarily because uh, the defender is going to come down and seal that outside um, uh, area of the field. So you can jump into the misdirection. You got to go ahead and show your opponent the same type of look. So this is a good way to go ahead and do that. So you can see right here, nice little inside run against this Rams defense. Uh, what about the Z spot? So if you want to leave the animation, you can. I still like to go and streak up my tight end right here. This gives me an opportunity to clear out one of the zones. Uh, against over the top coverage you can go check it down and pick up an easy couple of yards but that route is it used to be a little bit more depth it used to have like um, the the z spot route uh, with this uh, with the um a single back ace it used to be like five yards depth but now it's like two yards so uh, you have to be very conscious of that and you want to rack that puppy right away. So you want to be holding down to the rack. You're going to make sure the defenders float away from that route, and you can actually get some pretty cheesy yards with it. So another way you can run this, too, is by streaking up your outside receiver. And that should actually go ahead and open up. So if the cloud coverage actually carries with the wide receiver, uh, you, can go and you can hit that. Another thing you can do, too, is that if the coverage actually goes ahead uh, and, and comes down, that backside seam might be open right there. So actually, the defender actually pulled up uh, because of the corner route. So it, that's you know, it's not going to be the best thing. So you could do so right here. So we'll see here. Let's see if we can get this right here. Actually, be able to come down to, uh, right in front of the face of your, your your safety right there. So that's just another area of the field you can look at. Skinny post. Once again, I like to run it like this. So I have a quick man read. And all I'm going to do is just go ahead and look to the, the, the deep post right th uh, route right there. So uh, hands on the ball by the wide receiver, but he didn't come down it, so I didn't get the animation. So let's see if we can get it on the back inside. So right here, and actually just an easy completion right there because the defenders actually had to play those, those, those drag routes by the wide receivers. Flanker drive. Um, once again, we can run this the same way. Uh, we want to show the animation for our, for our opponent look for the, the the drag route by the wide receiver just go and hit that and you can go either way with you uh, you want to so we're going to go ahead and take this and flip it off to, to the right hand side look for the dragger you've also got this running back route so you can see right there he actually gets stuck up on his block and he's but i was just forcing that ball in there but um it, this is just another good play to go and just keep your opponent uh, honest. Another thing you could do too is a streak route by the by the tight end. Sometimes you can actually go and hit that real quick against cover two shells. Uh, so let's go and see if we can we can we can hit that real quick uh, with Seals Jones and see if it's open to us. It should be. Nope, it's not. So we're just gonna go check it down to the little crosser, take the five or six yards right there, keep our opponent honest. Now, where this play really shines is against cover three. And the reason why is that the, the outside defender should not play a run fit and should be able to give you an opportunity to get a, a running lane to the outside. So right there, uh, really good leverage by the defender. We've got an extra safety off to the right-hand side. So let's see if we get the blocking by Grisham. We do. And he actually takes it up. We're able to go ahead and pick up a good 10 yards off the corner with our fast one running back. Keep our opponents honest. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and show them the run and then just run the, do the misdirection right up the middle, get some good blocking. You can actually get some pretty easy yards with that. Now, Z spot, streak up our backside receiver, which is going to be Seals Jones. If the defender doesn't float down, we'll hit Kirk. Floats up, he does. Rack it. Go ahead and just settle down for the few, few yards. But uh, if we want to, we can go ahead and streak up our, our um, wide receiver off the back end side and just quick hike him. And we've got the running back flat route, uh, basically making it very difficult to stop that. So another, another way you can set this, this offense up, uh, we'll show you with uh, the skinny post, but um, another way you can set this up. So we got the flag. 
that was just a risky play. The defenders actually were playing that route, uh, that route area, so I actually just got away with one right there. But um, Z spot actually just provides you a lot of a lot of leverage uh, in, a, in a lot of um, areas to, in the field that you can do. So let's see if the defender actually falls. No. So you can actually go ahead and pop that seam route too um, with the little spot route. So you can you can catch your opponent sleeping against the seam. So let's watch Seals Jones, see if the defender floats up. If he doesn't, we're gonna go ahead and just pop him really quick for an easy completion. So that's that's what I really like. I like the flexibility about that. So right back, once again, we're gonna go ahead and use the auto motion. Look to uh, Grisham. He's going to be our first read. We've got the little crosser by the running back right, right there. So earlier he's sitting on the spot route and sitting down. Now he's actually coming across, and that's going to keep your opponent guessing. Skinny post, there's a couple ways you can run it too. Uh, another thing you can do is you can go ahead and take uh, your tight end on, on the backside and actually go ahead and put him on a, um, a slant, and then take this wide receiver and actually put him on a fly route. And that just gives you another way to go and check it down over the middle of the field. So a lot of versatility with this because you just have a nice little complement of routes uh, that you can attack your opponent with. So let's just go ahead and take Kirk and put him on a, on a route right there. Now watch. You've got the deep post right there. You can go ahead and hit him for 15 yards. So this, I love the flexibility of this against cover three, cover two, and, and, and basically cover four. Now the one running, the one play that you really don't want to use this little toss play against uh, is cover four, and the reason why is that um, a lot of times the defenders are actually going to go ahead and really eat up the, the toss play. So if you got if you got a guy that runs a lot of cover four, watch the safety. So the safety's going to come down, um, and it seems like your running lanes on a toss play always get eaten up. So uh, sometimes you can actually get yourself in some trouble if a guy uses a lot of cover six or cover four. You're not really going to be able to go and pop a big run. So right here, this is probably the best thing right there, but you can see the defenders actually come out. So if I got an opponent that's running a lot of cover four against me, cover six, I'll probably, if I want to go and force a run, I'm going to jump into a misdirection and it usually gets a little bit better blocking. So that's why I actually have that as one of my set audibles uh, in this playbook, is that, that that misdirection play is going to work a little bit better against the blocking, and you should get you some nice, nice little inside runs against uh, the Aaron Donalds of the world and Brockers and whatnot. So right here, and we're going to pick up a few yards, you're just going to go and take that yardage. Now Z spot. Once again, we're going to go ahead and uh, streak up our, our tight end. Watch, watch the auto motion. We want to keep our opponent guessing. We're just going to go rack that, pick up a few yards. So this is not something. This is just a harassment route. It's not going to be a route that you're going to be able to pick up a lot of yards from. If you want to get more yards, just go and streak up that backside um, wide receiver that you clear out the zone, leaving that flat route by the running back that should be open for some additional yards. So it's just another thing that you can do. Flanker drive, once again, look to the seam by Seals Jones. If, you, if no one falls to it, falls out of the area, just go and pop that. Uh, even if you don't get any completion, uh, you gotta see if we can get that seam again with Grisham. Nope. We're just gonna go and just check it down to the little drag route right there. And just try to open things up for us. Um, let's see if this drill's route on the back end side actually gets covered up by a defender. Nope, so we got, okay, so Right here, this is all you see. It was wide open. Uh, the ball sailed with the with the with the. Uh, so we're gonna flip the play. Look for the deep comeback route and the seam. The defender actually plays the seam. Deep comeback route is always gonna get the separation. So it's just another thing that you can use against cover four against your opponent. And then finally, um, we can go ahead and attack our opponent with uh, cover four. So if you want to go with the traditional look, uh, which is the the drag routes, you can. And we're just going to do a nice little pass lead below. He's going to get underneath that four, four high shell. If you want to play around with it, you can go ahead and drag up the one more receiver. You can, you can, you can uh, streak up Kirk. And look right there, the flat is wide open. The defender actually gets pulled out of the area too. So this is a good way to go and attack cover four. So guys, uh, I want you to go and stay tuned um, onto my Patreon channel. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how you can leverage the same plays and concepts in the red zone to go and get some easy uh, easy touchdowns. So once again, my subscribers, I really appreciate the support. If you guys like these tips, make sure you go ahead and sm smash that like button. And until next time.